so good. Hot molten. So good. Sweet drippy lava. Yo. Oh. That. Aphrodite's nipples. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. I just heard our theme song for the first time, baby. And that's the slap. Lightning to the penis. Slap. That's the first time you've heard the theme I've, song. I've heard the f- theme song. And I have, I have been reborn into this world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For the first time ever. Welcome back. (laughs) Welcome back. Back to the beginning of the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Sugar Watts. Um, Here we are. Cover Decoder. Cover Decoder. Episode one. Wannington. What do we do in Cover Decoder? What 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 do we do? talk about... Uh, Yes, uh, uh, Brendan. I I believe it's in the title it's we are we are the co- we are deco- we are, we're, we're cover decoding yes cover. yes it's a bit of play on words as we say <laughs> yes of course <laughs> yeah so we are cover decoder uh oh. we're gonna do a brief go over here uh sitting to my left we have the one the only <laughs> and your brand yeah yeah, and your brand. And your oh. brand. Top it down the, the keys. Beep, 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 Look beep, it up, Jim. Or if you press for time, it's the Brengineer. Brengineer, yeah. He Bringineer. is the man behind the bootily dupes. You, that, the, the song you heard? Brengineer, that. Bren. I did that. Sitting to my right, the man with the pen, the man with the brush, <laughs> the man with the covers and the stuff, we've got Johnny Inks. John Inks, mm, 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 inking mm, everything is right. John Inks. Call me Johnny Inks squirt, fingers. Wanna know why? Because I'm always inking, baby. That's who we are. Um, and now what we're going to do is give you, ladies and gentlemen, whoa, 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 whoa. a we're, brief history hey. of who we are and what our credentials are to fill these roles. No, 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 no. What? Fuck that. What? All right. We here's, gotta, here's here's we what you, here's, the, here's what, what you the, need. The back, here's here's what you need story. to know. Here's what you need to know. We love covers, and you're about to go on a journey with us as we decode all these oh. covers. And my man to my left, maybe you've heard of him. He's the Tape Finder General. Uh, tapes. The Tape Finder General, General marching through the fields. The Tape Finder General. No. <laughs> Finding yeah. tapes and heels. <laughs> Fine, okay. No backstory. Listen, no backstory. Back you're story, gonna go on dude. this journey with us, you're gonna learn about covers. Us as we do covers. Fine. Here we go. It's just gonna spill cuff. out over the pot and runneth over into your ears. You wanna know who, you wanna know who we are? Here we go. What is your cover? My cover? Army of Darkness. That's my cover. Whoa. What do we got, Engineer Brand? What's your cover? Who's your cover? Whoa. Whoa. Army of Darkness. Army, Army of, of Darkness. Darkness, that's me. That's my cover. That's who I am. Wait. I am the cover Army of Darkness. Oh, like, you, that's who you are as a person. That's, that's my personality that's, wrapped up in a cover. Your, uh, What's your, yours? Your personality wrapped. Oh, I didn't even. I'm not prepared. No, I did not. Come I, on, Inks. What you got, Inks? My cover. You first. You my first, cover. Inks. Okay, this cover is the antithesis of this podcast. This is what came up with everything because I don't want the podcast. I want your personality in a cover. Oh, like. Who are you as a Shit. cover? Yeah, that's deep. Depends on the day. Okay, fine. We're going to make this easier. <laughs> if you were a mythical creature, what would you be? Uh, Engineer Bren. Well, there was a tale long ago. It's a myth, really. That when a man gets hung, he oh. ejaculates upon the soil. <laughs> what? And this creates a small root man. You're a mandrake? <laughs> known as a mandrake. Man, you're made out of men's semen? That is weird. I don't know. Man, I, I think right. I had, Why do I, I do first? a cocktail well, one? I don't know. That's, just, that's the first thing that came to right. my head. Johnny, per- all right. Uh, Engineer Brent is made of semen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Etten. He an does, Etten. He, a he two- no, no, no. Here's the a, thing. They can't go back. You're already made of semen. Well, okay, so you're a oh, semen oh, totem. Oh, you're a semen plant beast. No! Which makes a lot of sense Lord. because Brengineer has spawned many. Um, Inks, I already know. There's no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not the beast. <laughs> oh my god. Here's the thing. I I walk up to a cave. I have my sword and my shield. I'm ready to fight the most sinister creature. Suddenly, a pair of glowing eyes comes out of the darkness, and oh, never-ending story plays, oh, and out flies Falcor. <laughs> That's right. Sitting to my right yeah. is Falcor. I'm a luck dragon. You are a luck yeah. dragon, sir. I don't like boys for food. <laughs> can I can I take back 
uh, Mandrake. No, you know. And, uh, my Man, mythical creature is Nicolas Cage. Oh, oh that's yeah. that's a much better. It is very very uh, very <laughs> mythical. And I feel there have like been some sightings. I want to see a movie where he plays a Mandrake. You know that would be but, insane. Actually, not, I, not think, my leaves, I think that would be not the leaves. Not the leaves. That would be, yeah. be Ink's yeah. favorite yeah. rendition of Nicolas Cage yeah. as a you giant know, semen. I'm like, you know, I'm growing. I've, I've got leaves. I've got bits. Don't, you know, don't clip me. All right. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Okay. If you Back haven't figured track. out who we are, uh, I'm sorry. That's, that's your, the best hey, we got. What's your mythical creature? We're just going to move on. All right. So anyway, here we go. Ready? So, whoa, whoa, whoa. First cover. You no, you we don't go back. You, you don't start a thread and don't let everyone finish. I Inks. never leave a thread dead. What's your creature? We got Falcor. Yeah. Um, no, we, no, no, we no, got no, no, no. My, my creature Falcor. was given to me. We've got Simony go Nicholas Cage. Uh, Beavis and Butthead. Picture if he will. Picture if he will. Oh, here a, we go. A kindly forest man walks out from the trees. Uh. He's not wearing any boots. Do I have shoes. gorilla arms? Then he has no <laughs> weapons. Why? How could a man survive in the forest but without boots or weapons? That's 101 survival. I people. feel this needs an atom burrow. But taste. then, hark! Danger approaches from the <gasps> left, and this kindly, unseeming man transforms <gasps> into a furry bear beast <gasps> and defends himself. Like the mad Bats! creature beast Watch! that he is. Yes. Ah! Sprouting wings. But Dude. I'm not terrifying. I'm not Dude. a monster. I'm misunderstood. Batsquatch is a solid mythical creature. Bear. I misunderstood. The Batsquatch. The Batsquatch. Bat All right. Bat Here we go. Scary. Here we go. Our first <laughs> cover. Scary. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to kick it off with something really hot. Oh, this is the cover heavy. we're talking about. Here it comes. Mm. With a son of a bitch, Nazareth, hair of the dog. Yeah, Woo! yeah Nazareth. Ladies and gentlemen, how could we not kick this off with, it with the Nazi? Just an amazing cover. Mm. Um, mm. And the the first what? thing I'm going to go into. Yeah, here's what we go. What's going on? We're going to inks. What is happening in this cover? What do you see? We have a beast, a dragon, three headed dragon. But this is no scaly dragon of the southern states. This is a furry northern dragon. Mm, with fangs and and, and and fuzzy ears. But he's not transporting no, little kids to the no, place of their dreams. No, he's, he's taken to a dark dungeon church. filled with Germans. <laughs> yeah, hi. Yeah, this is our dragon. Um, his name is Klaus. Yeah, we are going uh, to shit on you now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry if we have to do this, you know? We're not Always comfortable with this. I, I didn't see it as a dragon. Whoa. You know what? It's a, what you, it's a what? service. Oh, it's, a, it's a three-headed no, dog. Uh, we have uh, uh, actually, uh, first, uh, first we've first talked off, about uh, a service uh, has three different heads. Uh, this, this, has, this has three this, heads. This has three heads. Bing. And it's a dog, and the uh, album's called it, it has, Hair of it, the Dog. It has wings. Uh, Cerberus has, has wings. no wings. It's more of a Chimera Cerberus. Now, I thought about this. It's a Chimera. This, this dragon looks like the cousin, nephew... Perhaps of Smaug from the animated Hobbit movie. Could you be a furry no cat dragons are a from thing. the falsity that is not truth. Yeah. You're right. It's definitely a rendition of Smaug. You know, I did not the greatest adventure. I did not uh, is is what what lies ahead. I did not look up when that comes. <laughs> hey, Engine Brand, find out when the Hobbit came out because let me give you some facts. This came out. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. This came out. 1975, yeah, this was Hair 75. of the Dog, and the artist, ladies and gentlemen, David Fairbrother Rowe. David Fairbrother Rowe. David, David Fairbrother Rowe. Rowe. Oh. <laughs> um, Hobbit yes. animated. David Fairbrother. Now, here's the thing. 77, the Rankin, the Rankin and Bass. They took from Nazareth. 
the, it's it's mm, it's yes. all a rich tapestry. No, I, I would all no, rich tapestry. I would have because to say. Hold on, I'd say my if, name is Spawn. If you look at the two things, they're not even not even close. They there might they might have gained. And there's a dragon. Dude, look at the face whiskers. I know bro. they might have gained the some whiskers, slight bro. inspiration from this cover, but it is not. Okay. You know, here's the thing. Okay, Harry is, Harry dragons were a thing. Like Harry. Yeah, dudes. I was gonna say this is this Harry is dudes this Harry is dragons. the seventies, baby. There was no like there was no like. Rules on anything. You yeah, can be whatever you want to be. You can be whatever you want. Whatever you want to be. You can be whatever you want. Whatever you, wanna be. You, be, whatever you, want. you could be. You could be a fur. I, I do not get dragon from this. As, uh, so uh, I how get, do you look, explain the wings? The, these there? are clearly. It's, this looks like. This Friend? looks like. Okay, it's just a. It's just, a. It's a wait, 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 hold, hold on. <laughs> just just because it has, has wings doesn't make it a dragon. Hey, just because it's got a duck feet. Yeah. And a right. bill hey, doesn't don't mean make it's a it duck. A duck. Okay, brother. Yeah, pal. Hey, come on. If it ducks like a quack. Then it's a fucking okay, dragon, hey, right, hey, 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 let's hey, get on. let's get into yeah, the so I see wings. We're gonna get into the cover. Let me give you some facts, okay? So we got David Fairbrother wrote. Let's do facts. I do not know when he was born. There is not a lot of information on this guy. His nephew has do a I know site. When he was born? His nephew? No, you don't. His nephew has a site. Like, I feel uh, like I know when he was born, guys. I gotta just gotta find. It's it called here. Dragon Days. Dude, we're now, so good at notes. I know he died in 2013, July 21st. Sorry, oh. he was an illustrious. He was a nobleman. He went to the liver. Uh, he was liver. He, he was neighbor. He grew up in Liverpool. Uh, he went to the Royal College Art School of London. Oh. And then, instead of making high art, he decided to make. Posters and tickets for the Isle of Wight festivals. That's right. Of 1968, 1970. Which Follow your fucking dreams. Are very cool, but you know it's just funny. He's like he's, you know, he's doing high art, and then he starts smoking grass and does. And he was doing a different kind of high <laughs> he art. He does festival, <laughs> festival. Hey, this guy over here, you know, he's doing fucking festival yeah, paintings. Festival Dirt boy. bag. You know, he's yeah, got he's weed in his pockets. Yeah, We're gonna yeah. have to search I can him see, up later. I can see a part from a mile away. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. You see a dirt bag. He's been here so, drawing fucking you know, dragon dogs. He's in the best part of his life. He realizes, man. I'm like, I can really make some good money doing these oh, sort of so freaky deaky posters. <laughs> he starts doing art, so he hits Hair of the Dog, uh, ni- uh, 1975. After that, he goes ahead and he does uh, John, uh, not John Paul Anderson, some other dude's uh, record. Then he does John Anderson's Elias of Sun Hollow. Uh, which I happen to be holding right oh, here. Oh, shit. Now, now, Inks. Man, that is so Roger Dean looking. Wait, Inks, have you seen this before? I have seen it because that have you looked ship. On, have you looked on the inside? I have I have seen the inside because... Are you um, sure I'm you've very, seen the inside no, of this cover? Because, yeah, it's it's got like... It's a bit of a It's leather. got paintings. No, got no, 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 no. Show him the insides. Here we go. I'm, I've got Elias be, of Sun Hillow. Now, real quick. I could be talking out my ass. A right quick now. aside, right? Quick now, aside. Now, if you don't know John Anderson. Uh, Fairies he, and gnomes and little people. He's the lead the greatest singer adventure. of a group called Yes. Oh. And he made this beautiful record. And we're just going to leave so that, through it. So that's where the Roger Ding link. Yeah, I saw right. that. Yeah. I saw that. So, so, so have you seen the mushrooms? He's ripping off the Roger Ding this, right now. This record, you, just, you open it up, you know, and it's uh, got these beautiful pages. It tells the story. Tales. Let's wait, wait. Uh, can we, can we, I've seen can we go with, back a page? Oh, my God. First of all, you guys, we got to look this hey, up. It's here's so, the thing. It's per, so Perp much number two. You see, what's that on that cover? Yeah. You see those mushrooms? Yeah, 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 what's on the back of Nazareth, my friend? Yeah. Fucking yeah, fucking my mushrooms, guy. my yeah. friend. We're this guy is a major. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. There's, there's a ring going on uh, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. He was, I know that's a dragon because he was fucking trying to chase he's it. Tra- All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a dragon because that's what he was chasing, pal. Come on. This guy, so, he makes amazing art. Amazing. He does make amazing art. It's super textural. It's filthy, but I tell you what, not much. The ever. guy's a bit of an enigma. It's hard. To There's like, no information there's on him. Not a lot of information. His, his own nephew didn't know who the guy was because is... he didn't put a bio <laughs> on the website. You know, artists are secretive people. That's why we're doing this show because a lot of times you see a cover, and you're like, "That's badass. I love that cover. I love that music." Moving on. Now, who did the cover? Guys, why guys, did he do this dragon, not a Cerebus? Why? I, now I actually have that information. Why did he do a Cerebus, not a dragon? First of all, it's a and, sub, it's and, a subdragon. The, okay. the oh, ultimate what? question is how come his website looks like it's from 1995? Because it is, it I think, is from absolutely 1995. from 1994. Here um, we go. Information. Oh wait, wait. Why wait. is there a dragon? Wait, let's Why stop is there for a, a minute. Let's, like, let me we, give you we, a hypothetical. We have, right? to, we have what, to talk about this. Yeah, but what if there's a dragon, right? And he's flying along, right? And he goes, he's going down into the other ground, right? <clears throat> and he's like, oh, wait, hey, 
can't go in the other ground yet because there's a Cerberus. And then they find out, yeah, actually, you're looking pretty good with all three of your heads. I, I wonder see that what you're you compatible and you have three holes. Right, right. <laughs> so they end up not even going into the underground. They, you know, they do the, I'm doing the, the thing right now, right? And they have an egg, right? And the egg drifts off they onto make an a island. egg. Yeah, the little egg. Oh it drifts my off goodness. onto an island. The, uh, the, the egg hatches. Uh, Boom, you've got an egg. And then Odysseus the later on shows up on this island. Covered. And that's how we have the creature. So that's my question, my question for you uh, uh, of the of the dragon uh, um, concept of it. Yeah. Right. Um, why is the album called Hair of the Dog? I can tell you. I, and, I, and how come the dragon's heads look clearly like, like dogs? A, like an owl. Do you know no, what no, hair This the... is not a dog. It's a dog. The fangs are down below. No, look, <laughs> look at these patches. Patches. Now, here we go. Where's the nature man? Now, I want you to look at this drawer. Now, look the at these eyes. down. It's the Do angle. you see an owl? Here we have a dragon. A dragon? No. With its three heads, it perches upon the island. As we all know, dragons the third one are is a clearly an amalgamation of many his animals. His eyesight is it? Here's here's the thing. Let me talk about this record. Okay, so here's what ha- here's what here is what happens. Okay, real, real quick, real quick. Tapes, hair of the dog. Do you know what that means? Yes. Tapes. 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 This is tapes. 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 Tape. We already, went, we, we already went over this. Oh yeah. Oh, Bringineer. Hey. Okay, here's the thing, my guy. Here Too we're talking beers. about mushrooms. Yeah, my guy. Over here behind hey. the counter, he's popping hey, mushrooms. Hey, he's popping a little fair brother over there. Okay, come on, pal. I got a friend. You're in my shirt! You're in my shirt! <laughs> Don't piss me off. Whoa. Don't um, rip my shirt. We we apologize. I don't know, hair of the dog. Yeah, you, okay, get, you get shit-faced, so, you gotta drink what you, what you shit. <laughs> yeah, so, hair <laughs> of the dog refers to if you get bit by a dog. You know, and you're bleeding. You take a bit of the hair from the dog. Whoa! That what bit you. mythology is this? No, it's it's a saying right there. He's going you way take a bit of the hair from the dog that bit you. You put it in the wound. Oh, as I you're see. scaffolding oh, there, and it reverts and then, to alcohol. And then you start to heal faster. So if you're drinking whiskey right, and so you shit your if, pants, if you drink whiskey in the up, morning. Bro. Yeah, if you get fucked up, bro, and you're like feeling shitty in the morning, do fucking drink some of that same shit you drank last night. You could feel fucking fantastic, pal. So here's the thing. Oh, here's yeah. the thing, right? Okay, so imagine, if you will, a quiet hamlet in the beautiful London countryside. Gnomes and bells and fairies and friends. Here we have... David Fairbrother Rowe, he's sitting there, he's doing his little concert tickets, he's drawing some mushrooms, he's doing his thing, all of a sudden, boom, wow, <laughs> the door kicks open, somehow in broad daylight, smoke plumes in, <laughs> and Danny McCathery, with his shitty curly hair and his weird mm. Irish hat, whatever mm. that's called, comes in. This is the 70s people. And he just starts spouting nonsense. whip a dip a doop a dub a dub a doop I got to see the light. Three-headed dwarf in a magic mountain. I got to fight the Gornak. He goes off for about an hour and a half on this crazy dream. And Fairbrother doesn't even know who this guy is. He has no idea what's going on. And all of a sudden he says, it was a dream. It was a dream. And then he leaves. And then he comes back and he says, Son of a bitch! And he leaves again. <laughs> and then he comes back and he says, I just hit four rails of black back paddle wig and I gotta go! And, and then, David Fairbrother sitting yeah. there. Fairbrother Row. He takes he takes a drag of his wizard's pipe and he says, mm-hmm. And he writes in his I journal. Think sh- I think I've tried myself. What was it? <laughs> and, then, and then, McCaffrey's... McCaffrey's manager pokes his head and he says, "Oh yes, um, um yes, uh, uh um, they, uh, the the band known as Nazareth would like you to do a cover based off his dream. A cover based off his dream. So if you could just put some dragons and maybe well, uh, some uh, sort of a dog. No, uh, that, it's like called Herod the Dragon. Dog. That How would be about a Cerebus, oh, not a dragon? That's a shitty idea. Well, that's good. Okay, We're wait, gonna go. is this a Cerebus? That, okay, um, yeah, I have that right to you. And so they all leave, and you have Fairbrother sitting there. With his pants mildly soiled oh, yeah, really, after being really. almost attacked yeah. by a mad whalesman ranting high off his oh, ass. Right, I'm going to stop right there. But First you know of all, what? wait, 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 wait. You started this whole thing off saying he was Irish. Then you saying he's from Wales. <laughs> no, he's from... Uh, Scottish! He's Na- from Liverpool. 
Nazareth is a Scottish band. I mean, How about Scottish him? Band. Yeah, that's why the whole oh yeah, hair of the dog. Oh, you know, I just mixed. I just mixed a couple of people Dude. there. I just you realize Great Great Britain is made up of actually different things. Almost like different, it's made up of different things, like a dragon. Different types heads. of people. Hmm? Well, you know, here here's the truth. Uh, <laughs> Irish, but Wales, you, hey. that's not interchangeable. Okay, the, but you the, know what happened? The unfortunate truth is that I had to make that whole thing up. Yeah, the truth you know, is, our, there's no, <laughs> there is no information. There's no, there's no yeah, our goal is to decode the covers <laughs> for you guys, but right now our first episode is all <laughs> conjecture because we don't know enough about the row, the row dog. We don't yeah. know enough, but you know he what? He made some cool I think, paintings and fucking think, died, okay? Yeah, yeah, after that cover, he said, I really learned a lot. And it's time Love to move like on. Flame. It burns Rainbows. you when it's hot. No, I think... He's got some naked pictures, too. Oh, he's Dude, got some... But they're not this, that great. They're, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're no... They're, they're no... Frazetta. Oh. More, no, oh, they're, they're, no, no, stop. Oh, they're, stop. Hey, hey, stop. I gotta... I gotta just hit it for So, you. real quick, mm-hmm. what we're going to do... Is we're going to we're gonna we're gonna finish this off. So yeah, but you guys need to know that there's a pantheon of cover to cover. And dogs. can we also talk real quick? the The album cover for Nazareth is completely inappropriate for the music that is uh, Nazareth. It's one of the greatest rock albums. It's it sold is. like two million it, copies. It, it, but it's once, incredible. Once again, if you were from this time period, you looked you you'd be thinking dragons and elves. And for me, the, the album yeah, when you right. listen to it. It is a it is Tang's Man Ranch, all right. It is <laughs> it is Donnie Glad's Balls Pool. Yeah, it is, it's all about getting up, down, is, and getting hey, back up. Hey, here's the thing: kick the ladies out. There's no yeah. ladies allowed in this yeah. bar. All yeah. it is is hang a steak. It is leather jackets, <laughs> no pants. It is hands <laughs> gripping the shaft, so only the balls <laughs> swing back and forth. Back. That shaft. And you're sitting here looking at a cover, and the music that's playing is is all meat. Yeah. yeah. It's all shaft. <laughs> there's no no, no, no there's, but You said the shaft was hidden. There's I mean, just balls. if you're going to stretch, you can say. <laughs> Furthermore, in this weird bar, there's like balloons, <laughs> which, are, which are causing static electricity to make the balls look like Sonic the Hedgehog. They're, they're all tan pink balloons. Hey, Tang's Man Ranch, uh, off the corner of Staten Ranch, and Sweat. That's right. Come on down here and see white knuckles gripping shaft. <laughs> there's no penis, just balls. That's just all you're going to see baby. at the Man's Ranch. Hey, we don't judge. We just swing. <laughs> we got A1, we got leather, and we got That's sack. That's right, and we're going to put it all on you. It's time for lunch. It's You're not going to Give me a fucking fork, brother. So I think what we can learn from this is that the Nazareth cover is amazing. But the music is amazing. And I, I think for the time period, this album cover probably inspired A, a lot of album covers. I know for a fact it did. Yeah. Uh, as well as the fact that when you see this album cover, you know it's Nazareth. You know it's Hair of the Dog, yeah. and you know what you're going to listen to, even right. if the music should be a bunch of leather-clad dudes here's, here, sitting on a corner here's, with their balls here's, out. Here's the lesson. Go fucking hard on your music, on your art, on your writing. Go fucking hard. Because then some fucking fanboys are going to make a podcast about you fucking... And they're going to put track. balls in it. Yeah, and they're going to talk they're gonna about They're going to say balls. balls way too That's many the times. Thing, like, do not hold back on your art. That's what the 70s and the 80s were all about. Real quick, what is the... Do we know the medium? The medium was... I don't know. This was your... You're supposed to... No, I, I couldn't find I, it. I, I, I believe, couldn't... I believe I looked at... I don't correct me on this one. I believe it is on Masonite. If you know what Masonite is, it's like that press board. So it's real flat. And you can gesso it, and then you take your paints and you go over the top of that. Official, I don't, official I, painting with yeah, inks. With inks. Um, I don't know if these were so oils. So it's acrylic. Or oils. Acrylics. <laughs> it probably, they got to be oils. What's your, yeah, we have a professional yeah, artist, more, more a professional projector. engineer, and a professional shithead here. Honestly, honestly, if if I was going to draw this, I I think I would, I would fucking ink it first, bro. And then I would ink it first, and then I would probably paint from that. That's what his stuff looks like. It looks like drawing. You know, let's go to his website. That doesn't. Say I, I gotta say, when I, I I do some some art myself, it's a near perfect image. Like I love the composition. It's gotta be oils. Here, here's here's my deal. Let's stop conjecture. I, let's go. I, I like I like light sources. This is this is a pretty flat image. I mean, no, dude. It's like it's like it's got that heavy contrast. Think. 
think to yourself, because look at the, the high shine on the wing and then the dark yeah. shadow of the fur just soaking up. I would shadow. have liked, I would have liked uh, like the snow. a yellow to go with the purple. There's a general purple look at this thing. Kind of just some some yellow kind of outlining the, the creature's can, faces. Can we, also, just a little can we also real quick point out the enigma that any artist who does a long piece, right? Who's doing a long, when you're doing a long piece of art, it's kind of like a trance. Would you guys not agree? Would you not agree that you kind of get in a trance if you're doing a lot of... Oh, a man, if anybody, oh, yeah. if anybody okay. interrupts me, I'm a fucking, right, so, I'm a fucking wild so now, watch. So now here's the thing. When you're doing art, you're doing a trance, at some point, sex is going to jump in your mind. In a long piece oh, of art, there is always something that's either a about penis again, or a vagina in your piece. Now turn, the, now flip that over. Look oh, at the back. see it. Shit. Look at the back. Oh, shit. Top left corner. <laughs> shit. Top left no. mushroom. No. Look at it! No! Look at it! I don't want to. No. I don't. I don't. I don't want to know what that mushroom. You has. know what that is? That is a no, teeth it's a penis. eater. That is a no, teeth it's a penis. eater. No, oh yeah, not even the mushrooms. Look at the top yeah, one. Yeah. That, that is, is that is a triumphant. Well, that is what is known as a vulva. I, I don't want to know. That's like the elephant man. I mean, dude, they're in a swamp. Yeah, it does not say what it was. The elephant man too. The elephant woman. <laughs> Dude, it could, it could be it, no. I I was talking out of my ass. It, it's not Masonite. I think the other the other. Oh, I am not a monster. I am a woman. I am. <laughs> Dude, what if this dragon's female, bro? Okay, so I should I should finish up with this. So he did a yeah. couple. He did Elias. He did Nazareth. He mm. did one other, and then he went on to do uh, books. He did quite a few really awesome book covers. One of the most influential, I think, was the. Pern series. The, the Dragon Riders of The Pern. Dragon Riders of Pern. Dude. Again, um, this is the 70s. Yes. Do you guys know about Pern? Yeah. You, and I have there. seen a bit of Pern in my did day. You, did you read some Pern? You know what? All the girls, Pern, when I was in middle school, <laughs> there was a group there's a group of girls. So here's the deal. Here's a little story about me. <laughs> did they like Pern? I was I, I was not a I was not a popular guy. I was a nerd. I was reading Dragonlance books. Mm. Hey, what's uh, wrong with Dragonlance? Hmm. It's cool. It's got I was the guy. This literally happened to me. I was reading the first Harry Potter books. I You're just discovered them. Now, right? I'm walking down the street. I got my Harry Potter book. I'm walking. Sorry, not the street. The the whatever. The school. The college. The uh, and this literally happened. This this is like you know, 1999 <laughs> or 2000, whatever. Some dickhead slaps yeah. my Harry Potter book out of my hand. Calls me a nerd. I how do not. Did, I'm not how, kidding you. How did that? Hey, happen? nerd. How, Harry Potter. Dude, how did that make you feel, Brendan? I just picked my book. Did he start doing reps reading. in front of you? Yeah, Look yeah. at that. Yeah, hey, bro. Hey, you go yeah. to Tang's later? I'm going to Tang's <laughs> later. <laughs> so here's the deal. There's these chicks. They were nerdy chicks. Oh, yeah. They was like, oh, they're kind of in my... They're in my realm. They're kind of like... It puts can... the book in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was able... Uh, they would have been something like, you know, some person I go with but they're always reading these you were hot for them you were hot yeah, for them yeah, you, you yeah, kind of hovered over them what are you reading yeah. what are you reading or like you they'd, be on the, they'd be on the internet looking at like baby wolves oh that, they were that kind of weird it was weird dude they were, they they were, were the cat. cat girls did you guys have a cat girl in your school there's always a girl who was like <laughs> yeah like, dude uh, no we had yeah Sonic, dude we had, we had Sonic the Hedgehog dude. King he'd run around the halls with his arms behind his back yes yes <laughs> I had I had Naruto making kids. making ring sounds bling bling bling, bling. <laughs> <laughs> we had, okay. so anyways <laughs> these girls they all read these, these they all they all Anne McCaffrey pa- books and, 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 and McCaffrey dude yeah but um dude yeah, with La- Lady Rider in the seventies going hard. Sixty eight, dude. Sixty eight. Sixty eight. Pretty is when sure. It started the first book. The seven, first book. I'm looking at seventy eight. I could be wrong. Let's let's pull this up came a cover. Out, this let's came pull up after. a cover. Which ones? So are we, are we talking? Are we talking the row covers? Whoa! I'm What's think- going on here? Are we getting a schism mm. in the cover to coder mm. anus? Because because here's the deal with covers. In case you don't know about covers, people. Are we splitting the stream? When things get re released. Sometimes they get a, a reissue oh, yes. uh, by a different company or the same company or yeah. whatever. They ba, 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 cover fight. As <laughs> you know, they get a different uh, cover. Like they cover they'll hire fire. they'll hire a different artist. Choose your player to, to do the cover, yeah. and a lot of the times the cover is worse. 
All right, let's or, talk about. Yeah, it definitely it definitely speaks to the time. Like you see a yeah. lot of you see a lot of covers being redone now that are like minimalist. Oh, and it's, it's like bad. oh, it's it's so bad. minimalist. It's very high graphics. I think you see that I only mm. use two colors. In yeah, you know who screwed that? Which, you know which, who screwed the pooch? I'll give you one right now. We're not going to go uh, too deep because I want to oh, delve into this really hard later. <laughs> Crimes More cock. against covers. They oh, ruined. Sorry. The cock album, the the cock covers later. Yeah. They ruined them. The original cock covers were awesome, and then they digitized them. They added to... stupid shape covers. We're gonna talk about you shape need, you covers. You need to later, clarify but... cock cover. Michael Moorcock, Moorcock dude. Moorcock, dude. Oh. The cock. Okay. The cock, okay. dude. Wait, you, wait, you, you don't say brief. Moorcock. That's too. That's too Moorcock. long, dude. You just say the cock. It's like and w, you know w dot Moorcock. And, and if you're thinking, well, that's talking. N- yes. Yes. The, the cock. cock covers, bro. He is the king. Yeah, and those covers are also the king, and we'll go. It, but this is a perfect but, example. We're 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 bleeding into inks. Yeah, sorry, here. inks. Continue. No, I, I'm, I'm so, by. anyways, I bleed wanna, away. This I, is what it's all about. That was we, my we little story. Bomb. There were there were there were girls I was into. They were reading yeah. these books. The covers. It was the summer of ninety seven. <laughs> <laughs> I read my book cover. It got swatted. Out of my hand, I did a little looking at pie, but I didn't know what I had right then. And Standing these guys, on they were your mother's porch, <laughs> looking at your skin in the back of my van. <laughs> Somehow it always turns into buffalo. <laughs> oh, I'd read me. You notice yeah. how any song you sing it's the lotion. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. or else it gets the hose again. Yeah. <laughs> you know oh. any song, if you replace it with Buffalo Bill, it's instantly ruined. Instantly ruined? It instantly ruined. Think any All song. Right, let's it's take a the look at the final Buffalo no. Bill. <laughs> now now right. you're messing with a son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 Look at that dragon! Yeah. Look so, at the dragon! So, folks, if you're following along, I just pulled up Dragon Singer and McCaffrey. This is in the Parn series, and this is a cover done by the Row Dog, David Brother, Fairbrother Row. David Fairbrother Row. Okay. Yeah. Look at it. That's so, so, uh, that's just not. As, so the cool thing about know, hold hold on hold your you, you hold, do, you do hold your, your hey you just you know you cut the inks off you gotta let him finish. Listen, it came first, and like you said, later on they make other covers, and sometimes they were, sometimes they better talk. But this cover, what's cool about his dragon specifically, is they're not your clean fucking yeah, out you of know, the shower honestly, dragons. They're not like clean cut. They haven't been working out. These dragons got the the whiskers, tendrils. They got bits. hey t- ten- yeah. tendrils. They, the, the tentacles allow them to engine, keep stabilized during flight. Engine, I'm surprised yeah. because this seems you're like you're a tentacle kind of, man. This seems like you're kind of dragon. Here's the thing, engine. Engine is about to warp us into another dimension, but I'm just gonna stay in this one for just a second. You look at Dragon Singer. You look at Dragon Song. These dragons. Once again, we are talking about Fairbrother. This is this a, is Fairbrother. This is the series he did. I think his was first. You can see you can see the dragons how they relate to the Nazareth album. Now, again, yeah, that you know, and it, that, again, it's all about the textures. You bring that up though, uh, Inks. That's a good point. Yeah, you can really tell that the signature style he, of Fairbrother. He has he has a species of dragon. Then and he all has his species have of dragon. Little, Thor, it's like he has these little viney thorns. Yeah, things. yeah. And you even if about, it's on a creature, it's in there. I mean, think about Roger Dean's dragons. They always had the the butterfly wings, right? Everyone's kind of got their own little style. His style is tendrils. It's fucking stuff hanging off the face. Now, the thing about these dragons is, is they're space dragons. Dragons. Space. Dragons, dragons, space. Dragons, dragons. Space. Now, if, if you don't know about Parn. 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 This, Just go on the internet. Word, we'll teach you about Parn. <laughs> this word Parn is created because so humans way in the future. This is so this is full fucking seventies right here. It's so futuristic. It's medieval. It, they go into the future, find another planet. They colonize the planet, but there is another like sister planet that follows along and shows up every once in a while, and it dumps this gross. Um, Mandrake, Rudish, <laughs> Nicholas Cage, yeah. Nicholas Cage, yeah. Demon. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan's uh, mythical creature. It dumps this, <laughs> this, these tendrils, this, this thread down that starts to absorb resources from the planet and to fight. So they just dump and, the DNA and it turns into a dragon. Right, in order to fight this that threat. That is genius. In order to fight this threat, because now they have no contact with Earthlings anymore. Earthlings are long gone. 
hey, uh, uh, good luck uh, with your planet there. Um, I'm glad you guys settled it, um, but good luck. Uh, figure it out yourself. And they decide, hey, let's fight this thread with dragons. Let's with let's just bioengineer. Let's bioengineer these creatures that are based on mythology. So if you think about it, far in the future, uh, uh, man makes dragons. Dragons eat man. Uh, 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 now, if uh, you had if you had told me what is Dragons of Parn about, I would be like, yeah. oh, it's a movie from uh, the early 1990s. Dragons of Parn. Mm. A young boy in a oh, cloistered boy. Mormon family yes. discovers the wonders of masturbation when he goes <laughs> in his room at night. No, a magical dragon is, appears to him and no. says, "Come with me. I will take you to Parn. <laughs> you must be released from the yeah. threat of the Gonad." Oh, yeah. The Parn. It takes him to the world, and he must learn the true no. meaning of release. No, these are space dragons. The Parnians. These are space dragons. Large, buxom women <laughs> who need uh? who need to help him with his quest for the ribbed chalice. <laughs> Pawn will set you free, boy. Um, um, also, you must not also, grip the chalice. Also, a good series. That's the porn series. No, it's um, the porn. <laughs> it's a porn series. No, but Pawn is space dragons. And they have writers, and the writers have a psychic link with the dragons. So cool. So you're like, hey, bro, why don't you bank left? And he's like, that's a good idea. Okay. I was just thinking that. Wait, oh, wait, no. I'm going to go to the bookstore oh, right now. And I'm going to buy a full omnibus. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> round two. Fight. Round two. Uh, engine. What, what do you have? Engine? The yeah. F- uh, an engine. I'm shortening I'm, I'm going to preview. They're the first, the, 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 first, the first book of Parn. I want to see, okay, no, I want to see the there opposition. Was actually, there was another one before Roe. No way, this was before Roe. No, no, there the was, there was an artist it's before Roe. It's bad. It's bad. Okay, they, all right. They, it's they, not they, good. They get, they get better. They get better they, as they go along, So right? Roe did not do the first book. He did the Dragon yeah. Song, Dragon yeah. Singer, and yeah. White Dragon. Yeah. What are you okay. going to show us? Okay, here's the deal. There is the <laughs> king of fantasy art. The absolute mm-hmm. king. Would you would you say he's a god in the in the pantheon? I mean, he is. He is, yeah. No, he, I would give him that. In, in, in my opinion, him that. in my opinion, he's one of my favorite artists. He's yeah. one of the the penultimate. That's why you're in fantasy art. Maybe wait. maybe ten percent of the books in the bookhouse probably, probably have. Yeah. His and comments. I will say this fella he's about to talk about yeah. has a killer website and plenty yeah. of. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> David Rowe. Yeah. David Rowe's yeah. nephew. Yeah. Maybe you should take some notes, dude. It's like David Rowe was that. Honor you, was freaking that young brand bring, whatever. Yeah. It's like David Rowe was that young engineer walking down the hall, so much hope in his heart. So much hope in his heart, and then he gets his book swatted out of his hand. Hey, you know what it is? The by mushrooms. A very he started doing the mushrooms. Named Michael Whalen. <laughs> Michael Whalen. Okay, this guy. Enter the bridge anyway. This guy. Dude, Michael Whalen. Every time I see his this stuff. Fuck, this guy. This okay, guy. Fucking Anne guy. McCaffrey herself said that the reason she sold books was his art. Oh, easily. Easily. How many of her covers Easily. did he there do? Would, there would oh, be, okay. there would be, at some point, there yeah. would be no Arnold Schwarzenegger without Frazetta. Covers yeah. are important, yeah. people. Covers are important. Frazetta. So I'm looking at Dragonflight right now. It's got this beautiful green sky. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Yeah. It's got these dragons pouring Look out of the mountain. Look at that dragon. There's a moon. Dragon. dragon. There's a moon. <laughs> Whoa, Dennis. Hey, holy shit. Dennis, we're what? on another planet. Holy crap. Why are we on another planet? I remember I was just hunting on Earth. Yeah, did now I just I'm get bio through space? Holy shit. Oh. Whoa, this chick is... Hey, Dennis, this chick is talking to me in my no, brain. No, dragon, is she's not Hey, do you think if I project an image of my no. hairy penis, Damn you'll it. see it? Dragon. If we're what do you get think? through this, you gotta, she, you gotta focus. She says she's the savior. Maybe oh, I can save God. her. Oh. What do you think? I wish you would have given your whole heart to her. Do you think I could wrench from her body? I love that boy. <laughs> All right. So I got... <laughs> Dragon! Damn you guys! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Cool. I, I got you some other Michael Whalen covers. Well, we, we should just no, do No, you can't do those. I can. I can. This no, is you... cover decoder. Yeah, I'm going gotta... to show you some covers here. Search is never wrong. Um, no, so here's what we've got. Speaking of the cock... The cock. Um, I've got the cover... The, Dude, the... look at that lettering. Can I just say? So, can yes. Just say, this is... as, a, as a graphic design guy... That lettering is... Dude, so all I can see is the C, the O, and the C. C. <laughs> um, so I, I've got the first... The, the Probably the most famous Elric uh, books covers here by uh, Daw, 
With if you ever go to any bookstore, like an old used bookstore, you'll find. Look dog for the books. cummy yellow binding. Look for the cummy yellow binding. That's a word. <laughs> that's a word we're gonna use. If it's cummy, if you touch yeah. it, you're probably gonna need the to theme, wash your hands. The theme of this episode is man fluid. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was brought to you by man fluid. Man fluid. And, and famously, he, famously, he did this series of uh, Lovecraft. Uh, volumes by Can Del we Rey. just say he would not exist without Frazetta? Look at those men. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm very, telling you, I'm ve- telling you, I got this, I got this, everything. Very goes. Frazetta. Everything leads back to Frazetta. Frazetta. It all does. It all does. No, you're totally right. But uh, can I, wait, can, wait, wait, can wait, I go We gotta back? go back to Parn. I was gonna say, can I go back to this cover for a minute? Because yeah. when I say Space Dragons and you see um, I don't Fair think Brother that, Rogue. to be fair. Yeah, Fairbrother Rose stuff looks very medieval. When you see, see Space Dragons, you look at Milo, Michael Whalen's art, you look at the eyes of those dragons, they're like, they're like fuck. Yeah, they're like bug eyes. They you know, have like several different facets. Hey, Inks, they look like space dragons. Inks, bro. it kind of <laughs> reminds me of maybe like a like a yeah, Cretacean, yeah. like a Mesozoian oh, oh. petrodactyl. Yeah, yeah, like a like a like a like, like a what would have flown like a Quetzalcoatlus, bro? Yeah. What what kind of creature would have yeah. flown in this? Oh, okay, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so he's referring to some sort of pterosaur. A pterosaur. Oh, I fell into that trap, didn't I? I did. Pterosaurs. Pterosaurs are so fucking cool, bro. I they were the real dragons, bro. They were the real dragons. They were the real dragon suit. That's all I gotta say. What's cool about dinosaurs is they found out now that they got feathers, and the feathers almost look like fur. So think about a grizzly... Like a grizzly barosaurus. Would you would you say that this type of dinosaur may have appeared at uh, Tang's uh, <laughs> Tang's meat house? Are, are you easy, asking easy, if these dinosaurs easy. went to your weird leather Did bar? Did they wear leather? <laughs> your imaginary <laughs> leather? Did they bar? have caps? They would have braided their feathers and shown up. I'm just saying that if Nazareth out. is a real band, they played at Tang's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, hey, let's let's go back. Let's let's what Pern? Yeah, we were talking about we were talking about Parn because we were talking about dragons because we were talking about Nazareth. I got you saying Parn. It may or may not be a dragon or Cerberus, but there are wings involved. Cerberus. Okay. It, it easily we figured out that see a dragon and a Cerberus got together and they made love. Okay. They, they made, made sweet, an egg. hot. Passion. Oh, there was one yeah. hole oh, and there was a thing yeah. in the dark and it went. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm then not, it went into wait, the other. And there wing. was flapping scaly <laughs> bulls. Yeah, we can't. We can't. Die. So I think the takeaway from this <laughs> massive rant we've we promise, had, we promise we're going to do better. If you look at Nazareth, David, Roth brother, Roth. Roth. Fair brother, fair brother, fair brother, <laughs> fair brother, Roe. Fair I'm, brother I'm three bats. We need to get this right because this this show is dedicated to you. You died in 2013, and you sent us on this great tangent. Roth, and you brought Roth, tendricle dragons. Roth into the world. banger. Samsonite. <laughs> it's way off. <laughs> Fair brother, guide me. Change me. I change me. All, All right. right. We'll so hey, on. sorry. Uh, rewind. Uh, if you listen to Nazareth, look at that Nazareth cover. Where is he going to take you? All right. He's going to take you to some amazing covers. He's going to take you to the yeah. power novels. Yeah. This is not going to be loop music. This is not going to be you know gentle strumming. This is going to be heartbreak. This is going to be pain. This is going to be getting DNA back up from that pain dinosaur to go dragons. down to Tang's on Friday night and sing your fucking heart out. Dino right? DNA. Dino <laughs> DNA. And you get a baby dinosaur. So yeah. and 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 you can. Re- I think you can see, uh, not just from uh, Nazareth's music. They've obviously you know musically influenced a lot of people. The album cover itself. I I feel like. Uh, David probably influenced a few artists. I think there's a lot of people who Easily. have have done dragons off of him, who Easily. have taken he, taken notes from him and and gone off with it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, just the creativity of like, hey, a dragon doesn't have to be this. Yeah, totally. When I was a kid, I'll say this. This is this is like a confession here. When I was a kid, I was like, look at these fucking dragons, dude. It was a cat dragon. Like, no, dragons are this. I was wrong. As I've gotten older, I realize dragons can be anything. They can have fur. They can have three heads. They can have tendricles. They can have fucking bug eyes. They I, can have whatever. I remember my older brother mm. dissing Smaug. 
From the ring because he was a cat dragon. How yeah. dare you! But but so think, cool. But but the thing is, is like yeah, and I think the reason why I dissed it as a kid was because it was so unsettling, and that's what smog is supposed to be. It's supposed to be unsettling. You want to know the truth? Smog in the animated version, him talking makes way more sense than if you watch the new version with the actual dragon looking. Honestly, smog. I didn't see he the looks, new version. If you look at the new version, he looks like a dragon. I couldn't do it. I, I loved him. Here's the deal. Here's the deal about the new Hollywood movies. They're so much <laughs> fun. The Brengineer take. They're a lot of fun. They're they... fun movies. Everyone, look, here's the deal. If you're if you're a movie nitpicker. Movie rent. If you're watching one of those movie brand. rant nitpicker YouTube douchebags, like, get off fine. our show. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Get, get off our down. show. Here's the deal. The Brengineer's pissed. You watch the show. Yeah, bro. You enjoy what you see. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of CG. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the scrotum beards. Yeah, they made what's his face cry. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. Of course the it orcs don't look like they belong there at all. Who cares and, if and, there's a and, hot dwarf yeah. and he makes it with a hot oh, elf? elf? Yeah. I love that idea. That's like the perfect porn. Dwarves are sexy. It's the now. perfect porn. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I like I like how that one elf fell in love with that guy after he was like, "Hey, check out my nethers," and she was like, oh, "You cheeky dwarf! I'm going to fuck <laughs> I'm you going, shit out of you! I'm uh, going to save you this after whole I shoot a series. spider in the face!" Yay! And Legless came back with his dark eyebrows. Oh, yeah, I love it. Was, All right, we need a ding. I borrow this strap on from the orcs. Give me a ding. Orcs. Give Why me don't a give ding. It a try? Here's, here's the thing. Save us with a ding. Okay, let's no, just, we've let's, dinged let's, out. Let's say we've let's dinged. Let's just say this, Nazareth. Has great choice in artists for their for their covers. That is a lie. Whoa, okay, no, no, no ding. No, no, no. Do a ding quick. <laughs> Do a ding. Okay, engineer Brent, take us away. Otherwise, we're gonna go into the tangent. <laughs> all I'm saying, all I'm saying is there is another dolphin. There's another album. Nazareth has three good Ex- album covers. Expect no mercy. Amazing, Frank Frazetta. And Everything. No, looks back to we Frizzetta. did the ding. No, the ding. We have to respect the ding. <laughs> Engineer and back to Brengen Brengineer uh, with his covers. Okay, let me take you back. Anyways, as we were saying, do, 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 <laughs> let me take you back to when I was a young impressionable kid, and I was fed up. I was fed up with Led Zeppelin. I was fed up with Mega Death. Oh, I needed something a little heavier, so I got into the death metals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, so in in all seriousness, though, I'm holding in my hands. I see it. A vinyl copy. I see it. Of one of my favorite death metal albums uh, of all time. There it is. Oh god. It's uh the second Entombed album. And I'm bleeding like sinners bleed. By uh, uh Entombed. The album is called Clandestine. Uh, absolute masterpiece of. Heavy metal. Oh, inks! You gotta go in, in this whole way. Inks. And, and here's the deal: inks, has can't a, see it inks, inks, inks hasn't seen this cover before. I have not seen this cover. He so, doesn't know. Listen, before I give it to him, I want to drop the name. Here's the deal: I've had cherries popped by so many. I've had me, so many please, cherries popped by these let guys. Let me drop in the, the past name. Couple years. <laughs> uh, drop, drop the name. Seagrave. Seagrave. Dan Seagrave. Dan Seagrave. Now, uh, Dan Seagrave, he's got a website. I I couldn't glean too much about like how he does things. I'm about to look it up. Um, you know, his we'll fir- his first album cover uh, was by uh, was this, for a band called Lawnmower Death. This is the artist Dan Seagrave. Dan and how does he relate to uh, Fairbrother? Uh, not well. Not actually, related. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can actually, look, I lo- his um, covers. I, there is a similarity. They're they're Rudy. They're yep. Rudy. They're a- very again that seventies high texture yeah. where you spin like. Eight hours on one. These, oh, these are these are route. hyper detailed. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I think even uh, Fair Brother, he, his are pretty like. De- there's like lots of snarls. Uh, Seagraves are like, they're like in gray. They're etched. Yeah. No. This is this is Dan Seagrave is hyper detailed artwork. Holy shit. Yeah. Yes. So. Yes. Holy. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna oh pass this off. Yeah, call, I, I see what you're call saying. Call forth the art, brother. I, I, I see what you're saying with the depth. So this the is depth uh, of, this is depth, 91. The depth of there his work is. There you go. Dude. And, and when I say depth, I mean not like the every, amount of his work. I'm talking about every like the line. actual dimensions. Yeah. Holy smokes. Let me tell you what's going on here. We have a forest oh. in the background. Uh, it's not a forest. It's more like a oh. subterranean world. It's like world. a subterranean Below forest. forest. We got a zenith. And there's a nest. cup. There's some sort of weird sort of handy cup. And in the middle is a, a bulbous bubonic 
embryonic Already. morphic <laughs> creature yeah. coming out of a weird yeah. embryo. And, and if you stare at this cover long enough, you'll see skeletons and bodies. Yeah. Is there is there a painter? Hey, we got, the, we got a painter? I'm no, you can find a painter. There, I, I don't know. I don't think <laughs> he, Dan Gray he, uh, he, was, no, no. He, was, he was working on this one for a while. Ta- you know there's going to be one in there. Here's the thing is, when you turn it over, you get Cthulhu. On the on the back, right? And it's very rough. But that's not Dan Seagrave. That's not Dan. Seagrave. I, I, I also I didn't look into who the back cover was. Wow! Um, so you have two artists in one album. That's yeah. odd. Yeah. That, that, that yeah. this album I tell is you, that feels a little amazing bit weird. because I know exactly where uh, Brendan's coming from. This Brendan. album is the most raw. Like so, there's a lot of metal out there. I've listened. Hey, here's the thing. I mean, I've listened to a lot of metal in my time. There's a lot of metal out there, and it's guys, boring. Yeah. I feel like this. Okay, a lot. it is clean. There's a lot it of boring is metal. Nice. Yeah. Metal is nice. You metal head. Let's talk about Dan Seagram. Sad, sad sex. You do touring, <laughs> motocross riding, okay. hate breed loving metal heads. Here, here's my question. Entombed is raw, and this cover is. Here's my question. It's very polished. Here's my question. As a newborn babe in the wood to metal, why is there so much bad metal go? Uh, oh. Okay, it's no different from any other genre of music. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of shitty music everywhere. There's a lot of shitty music yeah. everywhere. I'm holding uh, that right now. One of the greatest Swedish death Dude, metal so records of is, all time. Is there any... Is there any They turn Ikea up to 13. <laughs> is there any indication as to what this is? So... It's a nest, music? dude. It's a nest. Oh, wait, it, it's all his music, all his album covers. And, and I will tell you this: there was a lot of metal before he came along. It's like this creature. He, I, I tell you, there, there he is, antithesized a whole genre. Yeah, there, of metal. there is nobody. There is no single From album the 90s. artist. Just, just in general, I don't think there's a single metal. May, okay, maybe um, um, crap. I can't remember his name. Who did Eddie? Oh yeah, do we? I I don't even. Yeah, know. We're gonna go into up. that okay. later. Though. Anyway, the, sorry, I can't remember. Right, I'm bad with names. I can't remember his name right now. But <laughs> the guy who did the uh, original Iron Maiden covers and came up with Eddie, he's probably the most famous. But uh, Dan Seagrave, there is nobody in metal probably more influential than him in the yeah. album art game. Shall we learn about Dan Seagrave? Let I'm me, gonna be lazy right let now. Let me show you something. Let me show you something right now. You see this? Yeah, bro. This is yeah, a band is. that changed my mental experience forever. Just, I didn't. For I texture. forgot. This is a Seagrave. I'm looking Morbid at Angel. Tape. Morbid yeah. Angel's Altar of Madness. I'm looking at Tape's favorite vest that he wears whenever he. 1989, I believe. Bad. That's a Seagrave. This every every album, Suffocation. All it's those denim. early death metal bands. It's Pestilence. Patches. Some of them. I don't. It's understand. Seagrave. It's Seagrave. Most of them are amazing. Yeah. He's a British guy. He's grumpy. Lives in Canada he's sometimes. Mad. Tapes has a power vest. Don't touch him when he tapes. It. You know, I'm gonna like a lot. It's pretty cheap, but it's got Johnny the Seal on there, so I'm happy. <laughs> do, about do you want to know? How, do you want to know? Do you want to know when you really don't mess with tapes? When, do you when not he's mess got with his velvet tapes? mask on yeah. and his hat. <laughs> hey, I always have the hat. We, we, and the you mask. don't. You don't mess with yeah. the mask and the hat. Yeah, don't touch his fucking face. You guy. don't look at All the right? face. Yeah, you touch. You touch the velvet. You get the gloves. That's a little sad. And you don't want the gloves. <laughs> unless you, unless you, don't, you don't want to know what's on the fingertips mess, of them gloves. Okay, unless you're t- paying for a dance right, of tans. I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to be lazy here and I'm going to read right from Dan Seagrave's website. And he's okay with this because he probably wrote it. Okay. <laughs> I'm the best. Uh. <laughs> Dan Seagrave was born in Worksop, almost like Workshop, UK. In 1970, growing up with a predominantly, prom, predominantly Perfect. in the village of Ravenshead. Well, let's talk about this for five seconds. Ravenshead. He was born in Worksop, UK, in the village of Ravenshead. This man was meant for metal. Yeah, with his, being his born last in that. name is Seagrave. Seagrave. Okay. <laughs> the, the close proximity of the city to Nottingham provided an experience both rural and urban for. Of urban life for Dan. Schooled in the neighboring coal mining village of Rainworth. Where is this? <laughs> this is fucking Rivendale. <laughs> During the, the decline Dan of Dan industry. Seagrave is Sauron. Okay, he started Dan, as an elf. Okay, Dan Seagrave is an elf. He got tainted by metal. And then he started making an awesome yo, 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 monsters. Yo, yo. Okay, okay. All you fucking artists out there about to get jealous. Get ready. At the age of 17, he uh. produced an album cover <laughs> for the local thrash metal band. Lone Mower Lower... Death. Yeah. Dude, age 17. 17. Be all you artists out there on artist. Instagram, 
pumping oh, out our, every day. My sad you're pumping old ass out is art. Just, oh, oh, sorry, Inks. This is to you too. Oh, pumping out art, and everyone's just like, me. "Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna like yeah, it, but not yeah, do really anything cool. about it." Like, I like what you did there. Dan Seagrave's like, "Oh, I'm 17. I guess I'll start a career." Dude, dude right place, right time. Hey, lesson right now is be born in epic named places. You know what? If your mom this... is trying to have you in Wabasha County, <laughs> you know. Uh, Here, here's the cover. Uh, Wisconsin, say no, mom. Tell her from the womb, I want to be born in Ravensclaw <laughs> or Wolf's Bane, <laughs> Ohio. Or, you know. That's a terrible cover. No, it's not. It's actually a great cover. Dude, it's, it's a lawn. It's, it's a push lawnmower. No, okay, but, I well, know, but okay, it's like I a will death say, machine. It's, kind of, it's cartoony. It's fun. Yeah, you know? it, it's well done. <sighs> it's well done. But it's horrible. But the composition. It brat. could be a Nazareth cover. Nayom! <laughs> Son okay. of a bitch! Well, Wait, this, I don't want him to bang well, okay, in here after, on his cocaine! After, after Lawnmower, this resulted in creating many more covers for their rec- record labels, the RKT, for no pay. Oh shit. Okay, so he was 17, <laughs> but he was not getting paid. He was, he was, he was cleaning the slot he, he buckets of tanks. Yeah. He was doing to see a. Okay, covers. okay, here, I gotta say this about artists back in the day, and this, this goes for writers, musicians, and, you know, uh, visual artists, they were fucking poor, bro. You think about you think about um, f- fucking E. Howard, Robert E. Howard, fucking poor. Uh, he was an Love, artist. Lovecraft, he was just a writer. Robert E. Howard, writer. Yeah, Lovecraft, right? I mean, yeah, but I mean, that's twenties. Back in the day, people struggled and they did fucking amazing art, anyways. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. totally true. Fucking drop the record. Don't drop the record. Don't drop the record. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yeah, here, here's what, here's the thing. I think we can learn from Seagrave. He's a young man. Okay, so, so he's it dedicated says, to art. Well, it he says did a here, bunch of amazing art. Yeah, it says here. And he, he made did some it, amazing covers. He did it for no pay, but he really was driven by the desire to see his art published. Again, the theme of this fucking podcast right now, or this episode, is go hard. Go hard on your dragons. Go hard on your fucking music. Go hard even if you don't get paid. Fucking go. <laughs> go hard, hard at Tang. Go hard if at you're tanks. dancing. You let those balls Shit. drop and you Shit. get them in the face. Like what you like and fucking produce. You keep work. that zippo open on your face. Yeah. You want to get you want to get paid. You dirty okay, hairy okay, okay, man. Yeah, keep you going. dance at as, Tangs. As these records found their way onto the desk of other record companies, they went, "Oh, this is good work." Including like Roadrunner Records from New York, Dan was increasingly being commissioned to create works. For them. I feel like we're doing the autobiography of Dan Seagrave. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, I'm reading it right off. Well, the at least there's information for him to read about. Yeah, dude. He, hey, Fairbrother's nephew, once again, <laughs> put some shit out, dude. It's like you didn't even know your dude. Your grand, yeah. your, your grand uncle. Put dude. this shit about your uncle, your so grandpappy. We can, we we can, we we can we further worship nothing. him. Yeah, I was just saying. Basically, put your shit out there, and people will find you. Yeah, because I, I mean, if you think about Fairbrother. He went. He he went to the Art Institute of London, of London. They were wearing powdered wigs and, and what, was it London? And peeing on people. Uh, you know, there was some a thousand days of Sodom going on. And then he went to festivals and was making tickets. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he went to school. Didn't find his calling. Went to festivals. Found his fucking calling. This and then guy he made at seventeen art. was just making art because he fucking loved it. Yeah, he was right? some dirty street yeah. punk. Yeah, he made lawnmower man, and then and then he did the stuff. Listen, I didn't mean you know this podcast. It was supposed to be a decoding of covers, but again, it's finding inspiration in the old. That you just fucking go hard and do what you want. If you want to found a bar named Tangs where you grab rod <laughs> and you swing balls, dude, fucking do it. I don't care. Your mom, your mom's gonna love you hey, no matter what, hey, bro. Hey, hey, Ronald, <laughs> Tangs, Tangs. That's ours. You wanna, you wanna make Tangs. You you yeah. talked to us first. Yeah, That's well, trademark. Yeah. Tangs is trademark. There's, there's I, I got a, a question. Of... Does Tangs got Patrick Swayze? <laughs> oh oh, Swayze brother. The Swayze the Swayze. <laughs> those those balls are Swayze. Dude, we ha- yeah. Every 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 Thursday is 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 Thursday. Yeah. And every Wednesday there's a buff- there's Thursday a buff- there's a night. Buffalo Bill special. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's the, yeah, where's the record skip? Who runs the lotion on it again or else it gets the hose again? Damn, I don't remember it that way. All <laughs> right, that's it. That's all we got for tonight. We, we started have... with dragons. We ended with cocoons. I don't know what that was, but it's it's, it's beautiful. Covers. 
I want to live in that painting. Uh, I, basically, I want a little house basically, like in the roots. We toast to you, 70s and 70s artists, and doing hyper detailed shit. Do your fucking homework. <laughs> Go up into that attic and dig out some drugs. I even, I even brought up a link, and they were like, we tried to contact him, but they never got back to us. You know, and, then, and, and, and <laughs> artists can be reclusive like that. But fucking... Go hard. Do now. Work. Now, if you want to reach him, you gotta get a Ouija board. And you know what? <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Covers. What kind of Ouija board you got, bro? Covers. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Coming We're gonna decode you. you for real. We're gonna find good information. Nephews are gonna fucking be contacting <laughs> us. <laughs> They're gonna be bringing us all kinds. Of Tangs stuff. is gonna be visited. <laughs> Tang, Tangs is gonna have gig posters all over the fucking walls. The rods are gonna be coded. All the right. balls will be jingling. The, the, the balls. Will, Oh my god. Alright. Thanks Let's for the show. Let's show. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Next time we're coming back with more covers. This was episode one. Episode one. Cover Dakota! Cover Dakota!